this channel for over a year and I've finally gotten the courage to hit that start button. I hope you'll join me on this journey as my channel will include lots of grocery hauls, lots of meal planning, lots of simple recipes that are affordable and easy to get on the table and it'll include some cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, and pretty much anything else that comes along with being a mom or being a homemaker. I hope you'll join me and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. I can't wait to get started. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Small Town 6. I'm going to be sharing with you today a recipe that is super simple to make. It's an old recipe that I found in a magazine, but I've tweaked it over the years because a lot of times I didn't have on hand some of the ingredients or else it was just something I didn't want in the recipe. So it's super simple. It's super affordable. It'll be super yummy for your family. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the ingredients out and show you what you need. And I'll also try to put it down on the bottom of the screen um, when I figure out how to do that. Let me show you. I'll go ahead and show you what I put my recipes in. Super simple, easy to do. I've got a recipe binder. I'm sure you've seen them on YouTube before. I took some time one day and just took old recipes I had and I photocopied some off the internet and some I just copied and pasted with simple tape. And that's what this recipe is. It's called oven chicken salad. It's got very basic ingredients and anybody, like I said, can make it. You've probably already got all the ingredients on hand at your house. What you're gonna need, so we're gonna get started with the trivet in the bottom. We're gonna take three chicken breasts. And yes, my hands are already clean. I've already washed them. Let's see if I can get a good angle there. We're gonna put the three chicken breasts into the Instant Pot. I'm going to take a chicken broth. We'll take two cups of chicken broth. Measure the cup. Super simple, super easy. You can find these things all over Amazon. You can find them at Walmart, pretty much anywhere. It has an instant pot and it is a lifesaver if you don't already have one. And I'm a very simple cook. Uh, it's taken me a long time to even get to where I'm at with making anything. So I'm pretty sure anybody can use an instant pot. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to seal it. Hit pressure cup. And then high pressure. And we'll put it in for 14 minutes because there's three chicken breasts. And we'll come back to that when that's done. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the french fries. All I do to make these at home fries, you can, like I said, you can use a bag of fries that are frozen, heat your oven to about 425, 450, and you can cook them for about 20, 25 minutes. Or you can do this. It's even cheaper. For a long time now, what I do is I like to take potatoes, just a bag of russet potatoes, or if you prefer sweet potatoes, take those and you chop them up into little french fry pieces. And then you coat your, your tray with aluminum foil so it doesn't stick to the bottom and cooking spray. And you can put some olive, olive oil over them or some Parmesan cheese. And you can just cook them like regular french fries and they come out tasting absolutely great. Or you can even use your air fryer if you have one. I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way today. I'm gonna cut them up and put them on the um, cookie sheet, baking sheet. This is just a little cutting board I saw another YouTuber have. Got it on Amazon. This thing's awesome because it's got all these individual uh, things that slide out. So you can just wash those and not have to constantly cut up your board. I've already just washed the potatoes. I leave the skin on. You can choose to take the skin off if you want. It's really a preference thing. But we're fine with the skin on. It's already clean. So all I'm gonna do now is start dicing. Then we just take some olive oil. We just got this huge jug at Sam's. So we don't have a Costco around here, but we have a Sam's. So I like to get this at Sam's for like 
I don't know, twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, somewhere around there. Can't buy that at the grocery store for that price. Just put a little oil in this. Take one of these little basing brushes, or you can just drizzle it over. Whatever you feel like doing. I'm all about simplicity. Just brush it over the potatoes. Put a little bit of garlic powder on it whatever your preference if you don't like garlic powder you can just use salt if you like the garlic on it put a little bit of salt a little bit of sea salt You'll just put that in the oven for about 20 25 minutes. You have to keep an eye on it. Sometimes it likes to crisp up a little too much, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on what your oven does. Okay, now that the chicken's done, we're gonna take it out of the instant pot and do a release. I have switched my um, cutting board. This one, the chicken. That way we can just cut this up. We're going to cube the chicken into little cubes. That way it's, you can shred it if you want, but my family prefers it to be cubed. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cube it. Okay, our fries are done. I'm going to get those out of the oven. A little crispy. Get those cool. We're going to keep the oven on so that way it's ready to go for the chicken salad. Turn this back around to where we were. We got the chicken all cubed. Got the chicken all cubed in there. So now what we're gonna do take our measuring cup. We need to add one cup of mayonnaise, just one cup. Get a closer view of it. There we go. Take our one cup. And just use a spoon and measure it out to the cup. Some people like more mayonnaise, some like less. I will be 100% honest with you. I don't like mayonnaise, <laughs> but it binds it all together. Cup of F. And we're gonna take croutons or breadcrumbs, whatever you have works best. Take a cup, measure out two cups of croutons. We're gonna take the garlic powder and we need. Two teaspoons, about two teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of this, just adds a little extra flavor. I'm going to put one and a half. The minced onion, just take that. We need two teaspoons of minced onion. We just need a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Next, we need two tablespoons of the lemon juice. Okay. 
Walmart was out of the big jars, so I've just got this itty bitty baby one. Take two tablespoons, and there's four in there. Now we're gonna take the cheese. I like to use the Colby and Monterey Jack. You can use the sharp cheddar, what the actual recipe calls for. But we're big fans of the Colby and Monterey Jack. So we're gonna take, I like to take about a cup, cup and a half, because they like cheese on theirs. So I'll put a little bit extra. And actually a tip that I like to do that they enjoy is to add, add some on top. Get a little bit more. Fun. You're just going to take that, mix it all around, get all the ingredients combined really good. I know it's a very weird combination. You can also add celery to this. I usually don't. I have before. It just adds a little bit of crunch to it, but they like to leave that out. Just give it a good stir, mix all that around. So it's all combined. It'll look something like something like that. I'm gonna take my corningware dish. This is actually my designated oven, we call this oven chicken salad. Oven chicken salad dish. Just gonna pour all that in there. I like to put some extra on top. It makes it extra cheesy. You like cheese. And I'm just take this lid, put that on top, and we'll turn it around and put it in the oven. I'm gonna bake it in this oven, in your oven. 400 for 20 minutes. Just enough to melt all that cheese all together. Take a carrot. Looks like that. Look how cheesy the brown sides. I'm all about easy, functional, get it on the table quick types of meals that have a lot of flavor to them. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back and we'll have many more easy, simple meals to show you and do some grocery hauls and stay tuned for more. Thank you.